Again, welcome. Uh, I'm Pete Sines, Mayor of the City of Laredo. It's indeed a, a wonderful morning, a beautiful morning here in Laredo, Texas, especially after the, the generous rains that we've uh, received. Uh, yes, we did have some issues, uh, but I think the, uh, the fruitfulness of, of the rain uh, we'll make up for, for some of that as well. So we, we pray for more rain because we need additional rain in our community to uh, to take us out of this uh, drought, severe drought situation that we find ourselves in. Uh, but this morning is also uh, extremely beneficial because we do have our Congressman uh, Henry Cuellar with us. And, uh, and usually when we see our Congressman, it follows with a, with a check, <laughs> a big check. And uh, we've been seeing this uh, for years. Uh, and uh, I, I usually tell Henry, uh, don't worry, just send the check. <laughs> but but he does, and he does worry because he's, he's a responsible person and he's that's his nature uh, to work hard and, and get things accomplished. And, and, uh, and it's obvious in our community, uh, I've said this many times, uh, you, you look around and you see Henry's footprints <laughs> just about everywhere here in our community and we sincerely appreciate that very much our congressman but before we get into the uh, substance more of the substance of the purpose of this press conference let me uh, make known to you uh, uh, some important people that we do have here some other public officials uh, of course we have our the honorable Henry Quay here with us and he'll be speaking and presenting the check to us Henry we have Lupita Cepeda, she's representing the uh, uh, House District 88, uh, State Representative Tracy King. Lupita, somewhere? There she is. Welcome, Lupita. Also with us, we have the Honorable Martin Cuellar, Webb County Sheriff. Uh, representing the Honorable Jesse Gonzalez, we have Jessica Ortiz. And of course, uh, the one and only uh, Honorable Rosabra Wawi Tiquerina, she's here with us. <laughs> Commissioner for Precinct 2. Uh, uh, also, too, we have uh, representing uh, uh, Justice of the Peace Precinct 2, Place 2, we, uh, for the Honorable Danny Dominguez. We have uh, his rep. Uh, is it Yvonne Caso? Hi, Yvonne. How are you? And uh, let's see, who else do we have? Uh, for the UISD board, we have uh, representing, uh, uh, we have the secretary, I believe. Uh, Rick Rodriguez, is he here? Uh, oh, there he is. Hey, Rick, how are you? He's the secretary for the UISD board. Welcome, sir. And uh, our assistant city manager, uh, uh, Mr. Riazul, Mia, Ria. Thank you, Ria. And, and the uh, director for the planning and zoning, we have Mr. Orlando Navarro Orly. Good morning. And we have uh, Mr. Robert J. Uh, Garza, who is the transit general manager. Robert, good morning. And Mr. Juan Mendive, uh, he's the uh, interim MPO director. Juan. Without further ado, I, I call upon our congressman. Henry Cuellar to do the, uh, some, for some remarks and, and the check presentation. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mayor, 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 thank you. Appreciate it. I thought you were gonna thank me for the rain. <laughs> no, uh, first of all, Mayor, it's always a pleasure being here with you in the city council. I, I was uh, kidding around with Alisa Cigarro because I think this is her area. I said, tomorrow's your biggest speech because uh, uh, I always make fun of her that she's gonna give the biggest speech. I couldn't make it, but I wanna thank her, but in particular, uh, Mayor, I want to thank you uh, and the city manager's uh, office and uh, all the folks that work with you. Thank you so much. To the county and city officials, again, it's a pleasure seeing you all. Uh, Martin, uh, it's good uh, being with you all. Uh, to the school districts, uh, Lupita, you know, to uh, Mr. King, tell him thank you very much. And again, yesterday we were with Lupita. She, as you know, she's also the president of the Laredo College, and we had the uh, Vestiture of the new president. It was a beautiful ceremony. Again, thank you for the great selection on, on that. Uh, and again, uh, Robert uh, Garza, as the uh, transit general manager, uh, you know, thank you and your team, Monica Garcia, and all the folks that work here. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations. You know, the announcement today is uh, $7.4 million in addition. 
to the $5 million that we announced a few months ago. Uh, the first $5 million were used for about seven of these buses. Uh, this will be used to buy another 14. So that will be 21 new buses uh, that will become a win-win situation uh, to uh, not only to the riders, uh, but also the, to the community. Uh, so two, uh, two reasons. Number one, uh, for the riders and, and you know, there's 21 buses and I think this will be 98% of the vehicles that the transit system uses uh, that will be uh, CNG, uh, compressed natural gas. Uh, Monica, how was that? Was that good? Uh, and, uh, there, okay, I wanted to make sure. CNG, um, basically what that means is it's uh, low emission or no emissions. Uh, so it's a win-win situation. Uh, I think the Metro services over 2.3 million passengers on a yearly basis. I emphasize 2.3 million passengers uh, on the uh, yearly basis with about 21 uh, routes that they take. That's about nine to 10,000 uh, weekly riders, nine to 10,000 weekly riders, it's a lot. So when you got those, uh, those uh, buses working, uh, it becomes a win-win situation again, number one, for the riders because they have brand new vehicles like this one. Uh, and then number two, the emissions. That means our community will feel better because it's low or no emissions. So for the environment, it becomes a win-win situation. So we're excited about this um, purchase, as you know, uh, because this will give us uh, almost 98%. I think it's more of the smaller vehicles, the lifts and all that that will be, but the big vehicles like this, the 21 buses, uh, will be no emission or low emission and that becomes a win-win situation. Uh, it's hot and humid, so I wanna say thank you so much. Uh, God bless you, congratulations, Robert. Great job to you and your team, Monica and everybody else, and Mayor to you and the city. You guys do an outstanding job on that, so thank you so much. Oh, one more thing as we're going on. Uh, this is part of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Uh, as you know, that is going to be good uh, for the state of Texas and for our city. Uh, the state will get $27.5 uh, billion. I think they got their first $5 billion, Lupita, at the state, uh, and plus monies for bridges also. But this is part of the bipartisan infrastructure bill, so it's the transit uh, like today. Highways, and I know the mayor and I and David Salazar will talk about how much money, uh, as you know, will be coming uh, to our district. Uh, and it's gonna be much, much more than we got the last 10 years. Uh, so this is uh, the bi uh, bipartisan infrastructure bill that will be good for the state of Texas, will be good for our area, our transit system, and especially to the community leaders that we have. So again, thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Now we call upon Mr. Robert Garza for some remarks. Uh, thank you. Robert. Uh, thank you, Mayor and uh, Congressman, again, Mr. Quinn, Congressman Quinn. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, and thank you all for joining us. Uh, on this exciting and special occasion. I am RJ Gattas, I'm the uh, Transit General Manager for the City of Laredo, and I'm also the Vice President of Operations with the uh, Hendrickson Transportation Group. Uh, and thank you for, rec I'd like to recognize right now my staff, and I'd like for them to stand up. Some of them are already standing, but I wanna thank them with all my heart for helping us with, with everything. Putting this event together, their grant application, uh, everything. They've been outstanding and, and it's, it's truly, I'm truly blessed to have them, you know. Uh, you know, yesterday was a huge day of rain and now we're getting a huge, huge check. You know, we're getting a, a huge, well, this huge check and then a few months ago we had another ch huge check. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just a, a great occasion. It's, this is uh, outstanding, you know. we. Um, the city of Laredo, a lot of people, as, as, as the congressman mentioned, 2.3 million, we're almost about 2.5 million probably we're projecting for next year. And so uh, it's really right on time, you know? And uh, it, it's great for the environment. Uh, it's safe. We got the, the, the best drivers. 
We have the best staff. What else could you ask for? You know, so thank you very much for this. You know, since the inception of Hendrickson Transportation Group, HTG as we call, we have made great strides in, in being aggressive to apply for federal funding uh, grant assistance. With the support of Congress, city officials, and city management, HTG and LTMI have been successful in acquiring these grants. Millions of Americans rely on American-made transit buses and vans to get where they need to go every day. With 1.66 billion from FTA American workers, uh, American workers will build more than 1,800 new buses to support transit nationwide. The funding supports 100, and this funding that was bipartisan funding from the FTA uh, supports 150 projects for people and communities in 48 states and, and territories, and Puerto Rico is included, and also uh, uh, w, uh, Washington, D.C., as a matter of fact. There were five cities selected in Texas and Laredo. Laredo was, was one of those cities. So that is a huge, huge thing. Very proud of that. You know, it's truly an honor to accept this award, this grant award. Let me first take, take you back, as, a, as Congressman mentioned, on April 11, 2022, when Congressman Henry Cuellar formally announced El Metro's uh, federal funding award of over $5 million. And today, August 16, uh, he announced we've been awarded an additional $7.4 million. Uh, with both these grants, I'm honored and pleased to inform you that El Metro will be able to replace all its remaining diesel buses with compressed natural gas by 2025 or, or sooner, okay? So that, in fact, that is, thank you. 98% of our fleet will then be more energy efficient and will displace approximately 735,000 gallons of, of diesel to clean burning CNG. This is a huge step for the city of Laredo, El Metro, and its riding public. El Metro's uh, CNG bus implementation project demonstrates a commitment to cleaner air for Laredo residents through natural gas buses. As you know, El Metro exists to serve the general public requiring transportation assistance such as senior citizens, veterans, people with disabilities, children and youth, and the general public. For nearly 15 years, El Metro Transit has been committed to investing in Laredo's vulnerable populations through cleaner natural gas, meeting low emission standards. Congressmen, city officials, thank you so much for your generous transit support. This award is very meaningful, not only financially, but it helps us provide the transportation services greatly needed in Laredo. On behalf of HTG, LTMI, and all our staff, we'd like to thank you very much. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. And now uh, for the, uh, the main purpose as, as to why we're here, uh, not only to describe uh, what we're getting, but now the actual money as well. Thank you, Congressman, uh, would you join us? And